I'm amazed at what's coming out of me, <laughs> considering how I'm feeling. To me, taking responsibility and blaming yourself, they're not in the same category. One, one has a whole bunch of baggage, that to me is emotionally and can be mentally destructive, and the other one is a position whereby you understand everything comes from within you and you have this level of deep acceptance. And when you have this level of deep acceptance, there's no resistance. And when there's no resistance, there's no fight. But when you blame yourself, guess what you love to do? When you blame yourself, what do you do? <coughs> you start beating yourself up and you cause more resistance, okay? Create more tension in the body, in the mind, in the soul, okay? In your heart. Let's relinquish that and just accept full responsibility. Everything that's gonna come up in your mastermind right now that relates to you or your life or your relationship or your health or anything else, it's all you. Everything is your fault, okay? But most importantly, it's your responsibility. Because when you realize it's your responsibility, you can do something about it. But when you blame others, you can't. When you blame yourself, you're jaded. Okay, because you're not going to be looking at it from its purest form of, wow, it's just a creation. It's not good, it's not bad, it just is. And if I can accept it is for what it is and that it came from me, cool. No charge. Versus blame, story, Energy, charge, expansion. You with me? Acceptance creates resolve. And when we resolve our emotions, the things that create charge start to dissolve. And then all of a sudden, we become triggerless. And then all of a sudden, we start entering a realm of becoming limitless. Because if you, if, if you can't be triggered, you have no limits. The only thing that will limit your potential, not just in the mastermind today, but also in your business, is your ability to remove triggers from your life. Because triggers are the things that provoke stress. Triggers are the things that provoke emotion. And emotion and stress are the things that lead to conflict, either with the self or with those around you. That's a really good point. Wow. I'm amazed at what's coming out of me, <laughs> considering how I'm feeling. I'm finding it super easy to drop into flow. Total absence of thinking. And every time I think, like this morning was probably the most profound. The other days I haven't really had any issues with thinking. But there's been a few times I'm like, oh, I feel it. And as soon as I start thinking, it's like, it starts to fragment. And I start to stumble or I use the wrong word. And it's just like, okay, just breathe, let it go. And then, no, it's definitely, I, I, would, I would go as far as say, yeah, it is the best event we've done so far. All right, we'll do the leader's deep breath. Yeah. Thank you, guys. But uh, so yeah, I wanna thank every single one of you because the energy in that room right now is absolutely unbelievable. And everyone just keeps on coming up and saying, this is the best event we've ever had. And you guys have even been saying, who would agree this is the best event? Okay, leadership is about creating scale. How do you scale leadership? You empower people. You know, you empower them with the skills, the belief, uh, the psychology, whatever is required to help them take their own action. And you do that with strong frames and strong commitments. Does this make sense? And I'll tell you this right now, like I have no professional qualification to do, you know, what you'd call therapeutic coaching. But in my business, I have dealt with team members who have had addiction. In my business, I have dealt with team members who are suicidal. In my business, I have dealt with team members who are suffer from, suffering from depression, domestic violence, and who have been abused. I'm telling you right now, you're in business for long enough, you'll be dealing with these issues in your own business. The ability to listen to someone is, is the very thing that could change their life, or in some cases, even save their life. Okay, you guys are doing an incredible job. I'm constantly amazed and I'm constantly impressed with every single one of you. And so please don't stop being you and lead with your heart because you're doing an incredible job. We've had a, who would agree we've had a hell of an event. This has been an absolute cracker. But the last thing I'm gonna ask you to do before I actually close the event is this. You all, most of you know how to work hard and if you don't, you're about to fucking learn. But please make sure that you take the time to fill your cup up at the same time. And for those of you whose cups are overflowing, do some fucking work, okay? Because some of you are spending too much time filling your cup, all right? And you need to like put the cup down, step away from the cup, and actually go to the computer or go to the office and do what it is that you need to do. But if there's one thing I'd ask you to do from here, it's just be kind to each other, be there for each other, and do what is ever needed in that moment. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy your week. You guys are fantastic.